This is a 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442. Fires right up. His and her shifter. I hadn't actually driven this car yet. No, I realize it. My wife Pretty drove this did. car. My wife drove this car back from the uh, car show when we picked it up. Uh, it looks like the speedometer is now hooked up. The oil pressure gauge does work. The temp gauge works, and I believe the fuel gauge works. Man, the car drives great. Yeah. Steers straight down the road. Brakes work really good. The seats are nice. Super nice. Yeah, it's super comfortable. Power steering. This might be an original because the way the way it yeah, looks on the side, I think it's, I think it's, like, I think it's original. Looks like the original '72 Cutlass Supreme Owner's Manual. It looks, hmm. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it says second printing, November 1971. Nice. So, got a great sounding engine. Runs very uh, smooth. Oh, the uh, tachometer works. It's awesome. I didn't know the tachometer worked. Cool. Um, four, this is a 442 option. 1971 is the last year they actually built what they called a 442. Then in 1972, they still put the 442 option on the car. Engine runs great. It's got AC. All the components for the factory AC are there, but they're not hooked up. Obviously, the uh, compressor is free. Sounds like it's got a small exhaust leak. You can hear that it's got a small exhaust leak under the hood here. Um, with it being, it's got a, uh, f it's got an Osmobile uh, Rocket 455. And you can see the uh, block number there, 396021F. I don't believe that's the original engine for this vehicle. Um, uh, you could have gotten one, but I believe with the M code in the VIN number, this was probably an original 350 car. Um, it's a very clean, and I believe unrestored, uh, aside from the fact that maybe sometime back someone might have swapped the engine. Um, I believe I would call this basically like an unrestored vehicle. It looks like somebody did put a new top on it. And I believe that it has... Ah, that's why you got to shut it a little bit more firm than that. There we go. Um, does look like somebody maybe put a new top on it sometime back. But... Um, I need you to, if you can, can you take that for me? Yeah. So, uh, super straight body. Um, it looks like it's had one repaint. Of course, trip. this is right now, it's triple black. I'm not sure that that's the original color or not. Um, right now, the quality of the paint is uh, what I would say driver, and it looks like it was uh, maybe done a few years back. It doesn't look like it's ever been cut and buffed. So I think if you cut and buffed it, you could get it to come up to a whole nother level of shine. It's a really decent looking driver. I mean, really decent looking. It does have some scratches in it. Get up close to it. There's some scratches here, some imperfections. I mean, I don't think that the car needs to be painted. It does have a crack along the bottom of the door right here. Um, on the outside. Um, couple of pea sized bubbles underneath the paint here and here and here there's a scratch on the paint here 
the top looks like to be brand new but then when the top goes back yeah. it looks like it um, may have torn right there just a little piece yeah, that one little nice thing is you don't uh, you don't drive with the top down so I mean with the top up really so but a body I would say is very straight not perfectly straight maybe but very straight um, lights work turn signals work brake lights work windshield wipers work it's got a power top it's low on a little bit low on fluid it goes back e more easily um, needs a little encouragement coming up but you can he listen to the um, motor and you can tell that it's low on fluid and in fact I remember the first I think it was the third classic car I ever bought I had a cutlass um, same thing low on fluid and I topped it off and worked just fine Ugh. There's no undercoating right now underneath the car, so what you see is true, clean. Um, some of the things that you're looking for in a real 442 option car is the heavy duty front sway bar, which it does have. Ugh. It's got a posi rear end. Ugh. These um, rockers are in excellent condition. Floor pants have a look what looks like some rust there. Like I said, I believe this to be an, and that's in the front driver's side. Side doesn't look like um, it's 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 weak or anything. Back floor pan looks good. Inside the fender wells clean. This is a very, I would call this a very minimal rust car. Um, actually, I missed this, wanna show that real quick. There is a spot of rust right there. Outside the uh, quarters, by the way, don't have any bubbles that I've seen around the car. Bottoms of the doors are bubble free. Um, there's a crack also right here in the paint. I'm just trying to eagle eye the car for you because when you spend you know, $25,000 on a car that's not restored, you want to know everything about it. Surface rust. Um, you can see some underneath the, uh, and that's all original right there, steel. That's the original tank, it looks like, even. There's your uh, posi traction diff limited differential tag. On the, oh, I'm trying to get under here. There you go. That's very cool. It's also got a sway bar on the rear. That's another thing you're looking for in a 442 option car. All right, get out of here. Back of the trunk and everything is not rusty. Like I said, there's a little bit of rust and crust there, but it looks to be pretty minor. And then you've got that rust spot, that same spot, just like on the other side, you've got a little co a compromise right there front of the um, wheel wells look good and then you do have uh, actually just a touch of little bubbles there piece a couple piece size bubbles like I was showing floor pans passenger side look really good underneath the car very clean this is a super minimal rust car Okay, um, again, um, driver's side floor pan in the front with rust with a patch on the inside. Pretty minimum to, uh, to repair, repair that. Interior looks to be all original. Let's pop the uh, um, top on this one. Here, I'll go on. I'll... Oh, there's your phone. Oh, thanks. Let me put that on so it doesn't ring again. Let me mess with that. Um, let me control this button because I want to show that in the video. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. All okay, right, there you go. Now, the top and uh, up and down button does work. Like I said, it's low on fluid. Hold on. I'm going to turn close, close those up real quick. I always like to close those. Um, the button is sticking, so you're going to make sure that you turn that back off.
and it definitely is going to need some fluid. The whole top is functional, rust free, so it is working like it's supposed to. There you go. It's got cruise control. I haven't tested it out. Um, like I said, this has got a factory tachometer. It's a factory AC car. Um, it's got the original radio and then down below, this radio actually does work. I think the key has to be on. Well, I had it playing a minute ago. There it goes. Wish I got a really good radio in it. Um, Dang, it really rocks out. It's pretty loud. Um, let's see what else. It's got power seats, uh, wood grain interior. The, uh, the seats look to be original and unrestored. There is a tear on the top of the rear seat there. And there is a tear right on the on the seam line on the driver's side right there. The carpet actually looks to be in very good condition, especially considering its age. The buttons on the back of the seats release the seats to move forward. Windows. Uh, this, oops, this side window seems to be a little bit off track. I know all the rest of the windows roll up and down like they're supposed to. That window rolls down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Trunk opens easily. Inside the trunk's not showing any rust, signs of rust, so you can tell that those bubbles are probably surfaced things underneath. And honestly, I mean, you wouldn't have to put a whole lot into this car to make it nice. This is not a car that I personally would restore. This is a car that I would, you know, buff, touch up, things like that. Um, I showed you the trunk pan from underneath. Um, you could see those couple of spots where there was surface rust underneath. They come in, somebody's come in here and put some fiberglass in to, to um, strengthen it. I don't like hiding things, so here I am. I'm being honest. While the other guys are lying about stuff, I'm being honest about it. Um, the access to the um, pump, hydraulic pump is right there. It really uh, wouldn't take much to put, put the fluid in. I'm almost kicking myself for not doing it because it doesn't take that long to do. And then the, I know for sure the top would function properly. There are no signs of any major rust at all inside the um, inside the trunk. Looks really good. This car is cool. It's super cool. Um, golly, triple black, seventy-two. Oldsmobile 442. I mean, this is just, this is dream car material, really. So there you have it. Original old school mag wheels. It looks like a new BF Goodrich radial TAs, all matching, um, possibly a little bit bigger in the rear than the front. Uh, tread on them looks almost new. This is a sharp car. Somebody's gonna have a blast with this thing.